On the 1st of October 2021, Feral Interactive released a native Apple M1 version of Total War Rome Remastered on the Mac App Store. Today we're going to have a quick but in-depth look at the native version. Total War Rome Remastered was originally released for Apple M1 based Macs on the 29th of April 2021. This original version was only available via Steam and was an x86-64 application running through Rosetta 2. This version was specifically optimized for Rosetta, mind you. So the performance was fantastic and might be on par with what you'd see on Intel Macs with a 4GB graphics card. Feral Interactive were waiting for Valve to update the Steam client before they would ship their native version of the game to that storefront. While the Steam client is still an Intel app, its recent update can now support and launch native M1 apps. Feral told me the next major patch for Total War Rome Remastered will add support for M1 on Steam. As of the 6th of October, the Mac App Store version is the only place to obtain the native version of Total War Rome Remastered. This is Feral's first native M1 game, but it's not the first time they've worked with the ARM architecture. They have already ported multiple games to iOS and Android, such as XCOM 2, Company of Heroes, Grid Autosport, and Tropico, to name a few, and two on Switch, Alien Isolation, and Grid Autosport. These systems also run on ARM, as I'm sure most of you are aware, but it meant that with all this experience, Feral were well prepared to work with Apple's new Apple M1 based Macs. What you need to know though is that the performance here is not much different to the game running under Rosetta 2. It's maybe like plus 1 to 3 FPS at times. Just because a game is native, you should not always expect a massive boost in performance. Feral told me Rosetta 2 is extremely well optimized, so the native application will not have an obvious frame rate advantage in most cases. However, the main benefit of the application being native is for the long-term support and performance going forward as Apple starts to put more focus on the new M1-based architecture. When you launch the game, Feral will play the game at recommended settings. Feral told me, default or recommended settings are designed to give users a great out-of-the-box experience. In this instance, since we have a 4K monitor, recommended settings on our MacBook Pro and Mac Mini is 1080p and high graphics quality. At these settings, the game will get 45 to 60 FPS. In my opinion, you should just play with recommended as the frame rate is much more consistent. That being said, if you want the enhanced graphics pack enabled, I suggest you play at 1080p and high or medium graphics quality. Doing this, the frame rate will be 33 to 50 FPS. To enable the enhanced graphics pack, you must have texture quality set to ultra in the advanced graphics menu. The enhanced graphics pack for Total War Rome Remastered unlocks ultra high fidelity enhancements, or in other words, the textures are higher quality. You can notice these differences when you zoom in especially, even on the lower resolution of 1080p. At 1080p Ultra, the game gets 27 to 40 FPS, but it can vary greatly depending on the complexity of the scene or if you have zoomed in or out of the map. I don't suggest you play at Ultra anyway, as you'll get more FPS drops for not even a big difference between playing at high. You can play at 4K resolution on Apple M1 if you'd like, but you'll have to lower the settings to medium to get a decent enough frame rate. Again, the frame rate will vary greatly at 4K. Sometimes it can go up to 50 FPS when you zoom far out. 
and sometimes it can drop into the mid 20s if you zoom close into battles. This performance applies to both 8GB and 16GB configs respectively. This is one of the few high-end-ish games along with the recent Myst remake that can handle 4K resolution with relative ease on M1. It's impressive too, as playing at 4K doesn't really affect the CPU performance that much, and my MacBook Pro didn't really become hot. You're also not going to see a massive difference in performance between an Apple M1 based Mac with 8GB or 16GB of memory. I could only get the native version to take up 7.13GB of memory in peak and under Rosetta it's practically the same at 7.49GB of memory in peak. So unless you have memory hogging apps in the background such as Chrome, Safari or Steam, you won't need to worry if you only have 8 gigabytes of memory, like we saw with Baldur's Gate 3 on 8 gigabyte configs. So what do you think of the native performance offered by Total War Rome Remastered? Did you think the native version would have much better performance than the Rosetta version? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. My next hope is that Feral can find a way to port Total War Rome Remastered to some iOS devices, like maybe devices with an A15 Bionic chip, or the recent iPad Pros perhaps. Anyway, if you found this video enjoyable, please drop a like as it shows the YouTube gods that I'm doing a good job. And subscribe and turn on notifications as soon I'll be looking at the EVE Online native M1 client. My name's Stewie, and thanks for watching. <clears throat>